all the way throughout. We are playing the ball down. Uh, in the bunkers, obviously there's no rakes due to COVID, so we are playing, if you'd like to hit the ball out of the bunker, you obviously can, but you do have the option of marking, lifting, cleaning, placing, replacing, six inches, no closer to the hole, uh, obviously within the bunker, no penalty. If you do, if it's a nice lie and you want to play it, obviously you're more than welcome to, but uh, we ask that after you hit that bunker shot to just uh, go over the sand with your feet because there is no rake, okay? There is hole modifications um, throughout the whole AIM championship, so we do ask that if there is any uh, chance where your ball is not hold out because of the hole modification to just get a group consensus that your ball would have been hold if it wasn't for that modification. We do not see that happening. Um, the, the, the inserts are about four inches deep, so we do not see that happening. But if that does happen, just come to a group consensus. And we just ask that you do not abuse that. And um, you know, you can't just, uh, oh, I had a lip out, it should have went in. So we just ask that you kind of uh, don't abuse that rule. And we don't see it being an issue, but that's uh, a big thing. Um, and so obviously this is the first time you've played a socially, I imagine in a tournament, a socially distance yeah. round. And mm -hmm. what were the differences, do you think, today? Um, well, we, at my home course at the Watertown Golf Club, we've been, uh, we've been walking only. We haven't even allowed carts out yet. So for, um, for us, nothing, I mean, for me today, it was nothing different. I walked, um, we have the foam in our cups at home and the flags in at all times. So, uh, it was no adjustment playing today out here versus what we've had the first two or three weeks at home. Uh, but compared to a normal tournament, it's strange on the first tee, not like shaking someone's right. hand and saying good luck and shaking hands after. I mean, you saw maybe we took our hats off and kind of gave a little nudge, but um, yeah, it's really the main difference. Uh, leaving the flag stick in, that changed last year in the rules. You can do it if you want to, but okay. today we had. See, another thing too is you haven't had to, you generally are keeping each other's scores. Yeah. And today, did, I don't know, on the apps, do you keep somebody else's score on the app or you, do you keep your own score? Yeah, so the way it's set up, we kept the other person, we all had someone assigned to us that, yeah. that kept our score and then we kept someone else's score. But uh, yeah, that was a little adjustment in the beginning because none of us carried a regular scorecard. So um, the, the format of the app and the way it's designed, it's pretty easy. I mean, you swipe from hole to hole. You can see that it's pretty cool because actually you can see, it's like having a yardage book okay, and, a, okay. and a scorecard. So normally you have to buy the yardage book. Right. Here on the app, you can see the hole, which is cool. Uh, and then, yeah, you just input the, the person you're keeping track of score and then your own. And I actually was able to keep my own stats. I haven't looked at it, but all of the, you know, fairways and regulation, greens, putts, uh, without having to pencil it, so that was cool. Nice, and so was, that's obviously another difference because normally you would be jotting down. Yeah, normally. Cards, yeah, nor honestly, yeah. normally I would never even bring my cell phone out during a right. competitive round. Right. Uh, so that that was a difference, but yeah, I mean, I I think it went smoothly.